Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpixels.com and here I show you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials to create amazing results. Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create white skin like here in this image here. And as you can see this is the before and this is the after here. And I have here the same image, this is the original and I'm making a copy of that. Then I'm going to Image, Adjustments and Desaturate. And then I'm going to convert this to a smart object. And then again back to Image, Adjustments, Shadow and Highlights. And I bring the amount of the shadows up to about 95% or so. And the tone I'm bringing up to about 80, 85, 86 or something like that and that I'm not getting some blown out areas. I'm going to bring in the highlights a little bit like that and I press OK. Now I'm going to hide this effect by holding down the Alt key and click on the mask symbol so that I get the black mask and now I'm going with a soft brush and opacity of 100% uh, I'm going over the skin parts of the model here and I don't pay um, much attention to oh okay we have to set the blend mode to screen that's important and now I'm going to paint over <coughs> the skin here just roughly and do not pay attention right now too much to details because I just want to show you how it is done. And I'm going to cover all the, the skin areas here with the white um, brush here. I'm going over that here. And it's a manual work and in Photoshop you have often you have to do something manually. There's no magic button where which you can press and uh, voila it's done. Um, you always have to, m the most cases you have to do work manually. And it's totally normal. It's not uh, that you don't know how it is done. Sometimes it takes time to do something. and. Even a professional uh, photoshopper has to do work manually. And this is often a problem because some people think uh, Photoshop is uh, something like a magic tool. And that's not the case. You have to do work manually, and especially by painting like that here, because the computer does not know what you what you really want. The computer does not know uh, where skin is because sometimes uh, the, the, s the dress or something like that is like, like skin and uh, this is hard if you want to mask something out and it can, takes, it can take hours to get a uh, good result. So. Uh, don't get down if you have to work hours on something like that. And that's because sometimes, um, or not sometimes, uh, photo retouching is not cheap work. Photo retouching, um, is a, you have to spend a lot of time. And if you, if you, if you want to get a retoucher and you are providing your services. Don't uh, sell yourself too cheap because you spend really a long time on on, on images and uh, it's sometimes it's a shame uh, how cheap uh, some people are working and sometimes or not sometimes you see you see it on the, on the results that it is cheap not this is not this is not meaning that uh expensive work is good work but um 
think about it if you want to provide your services don't go too cheap you it's a lot of work it's a lot of learning and you have to get paid for your time because it's your lifetime okay now uh, I want to get back the ice as well but I'm going to lower the opacity here a little bit of the of the brush here and I'm going into the eyes I'm going over the eyes on the inner eyelids here and on the iris I going a few times over that like this and here as well because on the eyes or in the eyes there's no makeup at all no model has makeup in the eyes so think about these details where's makeup and where's not and here I'm going with about 80% on the on the teeth here and on the lips and I'm going to work with a bigger brush so that it's a little bit feathered out on the outside like that here now we have the reds back in the inner lips and on the outer part we have a little bit of this white back or we have this white and then we have this jewelry here and we're going to just roughly paint over that jewelry here I'm not going to bring back the chain here because in one case it's it's a lot of work and the second is um, it's chrome so it doesn't matter it uh, you don't see that effect very much that there is white on the chrome but on a jewelry like that you should bring back the colors like that and Okay, I think we are done right now. I'm going to zoom out. And there we are. This is the before and this is the after. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.